Hi everyone, thanks for joining me on my very first YouTube video. My name is NJ, this is my channel Power BI Park, and today I want to show you how you can make 1000 measures in just under 10 minutes. To do this, I'm going to be showcasing two different techniques using two different external tools, Tabular Editor and Bravo. So let's get started. First, I'm going to show you the setup. Because I want people to be able to replicate this, I'll be using the sample data set that comes with Power BI Desktop. Here you can see I've got a completely fresh Power BI report and we're just going to load the sample data. So I'm going to click on this Try a Sample Data Set, Load Sample Data, and from the Navigator, I'm just going to select the Financials table. So what kind of data is in this uh, sample data set? The same data every time, but you can see it's got some KPIs like sales, COGS, which is cost of goods sold, um, some other KPIs like discounts, gross sales, and most importantly, it's got a date column. That's going to be important later. We also need to make sure that we've got Bravo and Tabular Editor installed, and I'll put links to these in the description down below. These are both free tools, but we're using Tabular Editor version 2. Make sure you're not using Tabular Editor version 3 because that is a premium product that does have a licensing cost. So before I start, let me do one small thing. I'm going to set up a timer. There we go. Let's move that. Down. Just... All right. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to open Tabular Editor which is a fantastic tool. I think it was created by a Danish company. I absolutely love this thing. It's the fastest way to write DAX, and I use it quite often. But one feature that you might not know is in Tabular Editor, you can do something called advanced scripting. This is a feature that allows you to programmatically alter the DAX using C sharp scripts. What we're going to do in this uh, showcases actually take a script directly from their documentation, which I'll also link to below. So this is their documentation page, and I'm going to literally take the very first script. Copy that. I'm going to paste that into our C sharp script tab in tabular editor. What this script is going to do is for each selected column, it's going to create a new measure called the sum of the column name, and the DAX is going to be sum of the column. It's also going to create a format for the actual measure, and it's going to create a description. This measure is the sum of column something. This last, li uh, two li uh, this last line in the script is going to hide the column after the measure is created. That's not uh, something I want to do, so I'm just going to remove this for now. So you can see that it, because it creates a sum for every measure currently selected, I actually do need to select some columns for this to run. So I'm going to open up the table I'm going to open up financials, and you can see all of the columns that you can see here in the Power BI. So I'm going to be selecting everything from units sold down to profit. These you can see actually are all of the KPIs, which have the Sigma symbol in front of them, indicating that they can be summarized. So I'm going to select all of these and I'm simply going to run the script by hitting this button, it's, you know, the run button. And once I run it, something magical happens. So you can see that it's actually done what the script was supposed to do. It's created a measure for every single column that was selected. I'm going to highlight all of these and I'm going to right click, create new, and put them in a specific display. We call these sums. And we can actually go check these out as well. If I select one and I go to the expression editor, I can see that the measure has actually been created. And of course, I can select the properties. I can see that not only is the expression what is expected, you can also see that there is, uh, let me see, the description and the format string is also as the script indicates. Now, realistically, this is good enough to make 1,000 
uh, measures if you had a thousand KPIs. That's probably not going to happen. So I'm, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to modify the script a little bit. We've created sums. Now I'm going to show you how we can create averages using the exact same script. But the only thing I'm going to change is that I'm going to change sum to average in both the name and in the DAX. I'm going to go select unit sold to profit again and run this script once more. And, what the, and you, as you can see, now it's created averages instead of sums. I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to put them in the display folder for average again. Exactly the same way I did for sums. You know, it's, it's good to have some kind of format to everything that you do. So if you go through the actual, you know, it's like measures again, you can see it's exactly the same as the sums except this time it's averages for every column that was selected. Fantastic. I'm going to do this two more times. I'm going to do this quickly for minimums. And once again, for maximum. Wow, that was fast. So we've created at least, wait, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. That's 24 different measures quite quickly. We've got around five minutes left. So let's bring these measures that we've created in Tabular Editor into the Power BI desktop. To do that, we're simply going to click on the Save button. So now we've hit Save. We can actually see that these items do already exist in RBI desktop. So since that is the case, I'm going to minimize tabular editor now. That is that is uh, the first way that you can actually create a thousand measures very quickly. But yes, the caveat is that you might need to do a couple of things to, you know, it's like make uh, you know, it's like the measures work out. So I'm going to show you the second way. The second way is using Bravo. Now, Bravo is not fully released, but Bravo is a fantastic tool that you know, it's like can do you know some some of the more basic things. Bravo is being you know, it's like described as something that is not as complex as other external tools like DAX Studio or Tabular Editor, but instead is more for the business-oriented Power BI user. It can do a couple of things like analyze the model, format your DAX, but the most important thing that it can do is it can manage dates. Managing dates is, uh, you know, it's like, it means a couple of things in the context of Bravo. It means that it can actually create the date table for you. There are some, you know, it's like parameters you can specify for the start and end date, but it can also create time intelligence for you. What is time intelligence? Time intelligence is uh, measures that show you monthly data, quarterly data, or yearly data, but also with transformations in specific filter context. For example, you could be looking at month over month data, quarter over quarter, year over year, that would be growth data, or you could be looking at month to date, year uh, quarter to date, year to date, etc. And there's a lot of different, you know, it's like time, uh, time intelligence measures that need to be created for a lot of different, you know, it's like purposes. So we're going to do that right now. I'm going to hit on the time intelligence tab and we're going to target all measures. You can actually uh, you know, target some you know, selected measures instead. But what we're going to do is we're going to target all measures. We're going to preview changes. And we're just going to apply the changes. So now we've applied them. Sometimes this does happen. Bravo is, as you can see, you might be able to see here, it's in version 0 0.95. So Sometimes you have to do it twice. And now you can see the model has actually changed in Power BI. So now, I'm gonna stop the timer because we're done. I'm not going to do any more changes to the DAX, but I will show you that 1000 measures have been created. If we go down to 
in the financials table, you'll be able to see that now we have some time intelligence as a folder. There's five different subfolders. Oh, okay. So maybe to move myself to this side. Okay. So there are five different folders that you can see here. Growth, growth over full period, moving annual growth, two date growth, two date total. Now, if I open these up, you can actually see that the different uh, measures that I created in tabular editor, average, max, min, and sums, are also in each of these folders because for each of these measures, they've created, uh, uh, Bravo has created time intelligence functions. That's month over month, month over month percent, past month, past quarter, past year, quarter over quarter percent, quarter over quarter, year over year percent, year over year. And it's done this for every single measure that we selected, which is 24 measures. So that in itself, you can see that's uh, something like nine, nine measures times 24 for just one set, but many, many sets. So that is a large number of measures. <clears throat> So if I just open these up, you'll be able to see not every uh, item has, uh, you know, it's like nine different measures, but you can definitely see that there are quite a large number of measures that have been created. Okay. Now, if you actually want to, you know, it's like have this usable, you will need to go through each of these, uh, you know, it's like folders to see which of these measures you can actually use. Growth, for example, is the most standard time intelligence where you can see, uh, month over month, past month, past quarter, past year. And if you select these items, uh, you'll be able to see that the DAX has been created and, you know, it's like it's perfectly legit. It is well written, you know, it's like DAX that's very, very easily available for you. But this doesn't fulfill what I, you know, it's like um, meant to start out to do in this video. This doesn't fulfill the idea that I have actually created a thousand. How do we count these? So as a bonus technique, I'm going to show you how you can uh, see all of the DAX measures that you've created. And I'm going to do this using DAX Studio. DAX Studio is also an external tool and it has a lot to it, but we're going to ignore all of that and we're just going to go into the VertiPak Analyzer. In order to do that, you need to hit Advanced and you need to hit Export Metrics. I'm going to export this to on my desktop. And then I'm going to open the VertiPak Analyzer, which is actually an Excel file. So I've opened up this file and all I need to do is hit navigate to the VertiPak Analyzer, open the VPAX file. And once I've opened the VPAX file, which to be fair, because it is, you know, it's like an Excel add-in can take a little bit of time. It can show you a lot of different information. It can show you a summary of what the model is, different tables, columns, partitions, user hierarchies, relationships, all within the model, all in Excel. It's essentially generating documentation on the model. But the best thing it does, in my opinion, is that on the last tab, it has a list of every single DAX expression that exists in the model. So now if I select all of the rows, you can see that it is 1,125 measures that exists in the bottle. And of course, if I scroll up, you can actually see these as well. You can see that these are the uh, time intelligence items that I created. And you can see that these measures that I created within tabular editor are also there. So 1,125 measures, there you have it. I will say, however, that this is definitely not Breck's best practice. This is a showcase and I want you to be able to know the potential behind Bravo and Tabular Editor. But in reality, what I just did with Bravo is definitely something you can do with Tabular Editor as well. So if I go back to the uh, Tabular Editor um, documentation, you can see that not uh, like right after the script that I copied into tabular editor, we have generate time intelligence as a script. So this can be done for basically all of the different measures in exactly the same way, generating without actually having to write these items. However, this tabular editor method does require some more knowledge of uh, C sharp of, you know, it's like the 
tabular object model, which is the actual item that the script is working on within Power BI. And it requires a lot more knowledge than a couple of clicks in Bravo in order to make this work. So I want to highlight what you're seeing right now is merely a showcase rather than best practice. In most cases, you're going to want to use calculation groups instead of this. The caveat is that this might be faster than calculation groups in certain cases, especially when you've only got a few measures to create time intelligence for. This is still, once again, very much overkill, but also probably the fastest way to write time intelligence now. Even though I say all of these things, I highly doubt anyone would be in a real world situation to use a thousand measures that are built this way, but I hope this video inspires you to try out external tools. This is my very first video, so if you have any feedback on what topics you'd like me to cover, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks very much for your time. Goodbye.